Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today we're gonna to be doing another wax review. Today's wax is IGI 6046. Uh, I got this one from Candle Science and we're gonna go through and talk about this one, basically go through the entire, the entire list of what to check when it comes to waxes, uh, what it melts at, uh, how high to heat it up to, what it pours at, uh, it, it, basically the whole range from heating up to cooling down, uh, how much oil to add to it, and basically just overall how well it works, how well it handles, and uh, how well it turns out when the candle is finished. Now 6046 is a paraffin coconut wax blend. Uh, it's, I don't know the actual percentages, whether it's 50, 50, 75, 25. I looked all over the place and I couldn't actually find, uh, even pulling up the technical sheet from IGI, it doesn't specifically say. So if somebody does know the percentages of coconut to paraffin, please let me know in the comments down below. And if I find it before the video is finished, I'll go ahead and put it down below here as well. So the manufacturer's suggestions on this wax, it has a melt point of 125 degrees. It's got a pour temp of about 175. So you're gonna heat that up to 180. Uh, add the oils anywhere between 180 to 175, uh, suggested by the manufacturer. And we're gonna go ahead and test that in the video today and then pour at 175. It's got a max fragrance load of 10%, which basically means 1.6 ounces to uh, one pound of wax, which is pretty much typical for a lot of waxes. 10% is usually about the, the sweet spot for almost all waxes, give or take a few of them out there. All right, now here's what the wax looks like. Uh, it comes in a giant plastic bag, just like the 4627. As you can see, the consistency is, I don't know, it comes, comes apart really nice. Uh, it's definitely, it comes apart a little bit more than uh, 6006. The 6006 is definitely a little bit thicker. This is, uh, I wouldn't call it flaky, but it definitely pulls apart a little bit more, just like it would uh, regular coconut wax or uh, coconut oil. Uh, if you go anywhere and you get coconut oil, you can, uh, you can definitely see now, if I can get the right light on this, you can see it's a really nice bright white wax. Uh, 6006, if you've seen that before, it's almost got like a little bit of an off-white color, whereas this stuff is nice and bright white. It's uh, really pretty wax. And you can see with this stuff right here, I've got this one. I melted this down, it pulled it at 180, and I've been stirring it as it goes down. And this one, is right about 150 degrees and it's starting to turn opaque. So you definitely would not want to add oil uh, any less than 150. If you were to add oil to this right now, uh, you would see the oil just solidify as it hits that. So uh, the melt point is 125, but unlike soy where you can continue to add oil all the way down to, I've added it as low as 110. Uh, this stuff you would definitely, I, I'd say the recommended range is 180 to 170. Uh, and I would definitely keep this above 155 for adding any oils if you're doing any type of testing. All right, so digging into this stuff, I'm gonna use my ice cream scoop that I use for everything else. It, uh, it comes apart pretty easy. It flakes a lot like um, coconut oil would if you were to open up just a, a bucket from, if you got it at the supermarket and started digging a spoon through it, it looks exactly like that. It comes out a little flakier, definitely a lot flakier than 6006. Uh, that stuff, you can just punch it right through. It comes out in a solid block. This stuff is not as sticky as 4627. Uh, that one is like a real thick petroleum jelly. Uh, you can definitely feel if you were to pick this stuff up, just hold it between your fingers, you can definitely feel it start to melt. It leaves a little bit of grease on your finger. So dealing with it is a little trickier. I have to end up wiping the uh, ice cream scoop down quite a bit, but uh, that's not a deterrent at all. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on the stove just to heat that back up so it's melted. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the oil. So we're gonna go ahead and add, uh, the, this wax holds 10%, so 1.6 ounces to one pound. Uh, I'm not gonna add 10%, I'm gonna try this right around eight, nine percent. So I went ahead and measured out 2.6 ounces of cucumber melon because we're adding it to two pounds of wax. And then I'm gonna test this into a couple different containers. We're gonna test this in the Dream Vessels Maraca, the Dream Vessels Lavana, 
and then the Candle Science eight ounce jelly jar. And then for the wicks on these, I've got all HTP. This one has four HTP 73s. The Levana has an HTP 105. And then the eight ounce jelly jars, I've got HTP 104s. All right, so I went ahead and pulled this off the stove. It's, I uh, pulled it off at 180. It's right now hovering right at 170. Three, four, five, somewhere in there. So I'm gonna let this cool down. I'm gonna add this fragrance oil uh, right about 170, maybe 165, and then we'll go ahead and pour. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pour these. And I want to see what kind of sinkholes these guys end up getting since it is paraffin. I've poured a couple of these before and you do get a little bit. Uh, it's not as severe as 6006, but you do get sinkholes with these. So you will want to keep an eye out for that. And actually that looks right about the perfect pour temp. I added that oil right around 170, add in the oil and stirring it probably took it down to about 165. So I poured these right around 165 and they're already starting to turn opaque. So uh, you definitely don't want to add oil probably less than 165 if you're gonna be testing. All right, so that's pretty much it. When it comes down to it, this is actually a very nice wax. I actually like this one quite a bit. Uh, it heats up really well. The uh, fragrance and uh, the cool down times, it, it, I like a lot. It didn't take too long from when we poured the wax into the candle and to the point it got to a firm state. Uh, I'd say as soon as we poured the wax and then it probably took about 30 minutes before it was at the point where it was not really solidified, but it was to the point where it was not gonna let off any more fragrance. And then it was actually in kind of a solid form, not completely solid, but a good enough solid form to where you could take off the wick holders, probably around 40 to 45 minutes, so, or 45 to 50 minutes. So that's actually not too bad. Uh, definitely a lot quicker than soy, which usually takes around an hour and 15 to an hour and 20 minutes, and just a touch longer than 6006, which is probably around like the 40 minute mark. But overall, this wax is really nice. The glass adhesion is actually really good. It, uh, it doesn't shrink near as much as uh, some of the other paraffins do. It definitely shrinks a little bit. You can see the sink holes that are in that one, uh, but the glass adhesion on this jelly jar is actually really nice. Uh, I'm gonna let this one sit for another day or two just to see if it pops around the glass just a little bit. But as of right now, this thing is 100% glass adhesion. And you can definitely help that by pouring a little bit lower. I poured this one right around 165 to 160. You can definitely pour it a lot lower than that. You can go down to 140, 130, probably even a little bit less than that. So it's definitely something that you're gonna play with. So if you're getting a lot of wet spots around, uh, just go ahead and pour it a little bit lower and that will help reduce those a little. So all in all, I would say I actually like this wax quite a bit. I've already added it to my line. Uh, before I was done with this, I wasn't sure if I was gonna add it. Uh, I mainly do 6006. I do have a few candles that are soy, but I will definitely be adding the uh, the paraffin coconut or the paracoco is what people are calling it now. <laughs> I will definitely be adding that to my lineup in candles. Uh, it's a very nice wax. The stuff that I have handed out and had people test, they do like a lot. The hot throw on it is actually really nice. It carries through a room depending on what you're doing. The small ones, since it is paraffin, will fill a good sized room pretty good. And if you're moving up to a double, triple, or a four wick candle, it's gonna fill a good sized room. So I've had a lot of people ask me about this wax, so I have included the link down below. So definitely jump over there. They sell it in a 25 pound block and a 50 pound block. It's definitely worth trying, a very nice wax. A lot of people really like the coconut aspect of it and it has a great hot throw. So it's a good wax to pick up if you're looking for something new. So that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, please follow me on all the social media links down below, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, the website. I've got everything listed down below. And also jump over into the DIY Facebook group where there's already a lot of ongoing conversations about this wax. 
and uh, just get an idea of what other people are saying as well. If you do have another wax you'd like me to try out, I have some more on the way, so I'll have some reviews on those, but if there's a wax that you uh, would like to know more about, please send it my way and we'll try to get those up as well. And again, thank you for watching. Yeah.